30 again, fellas. 33 points Thursday night in a victory at Cleveland. Steph has a chance to tie Kobe on this. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Saturday at Boston on ABC for most consecutive 30-point games over the age of 33. Stephen A., is Steph Curry the best guard in the NBA? I got to tell you this. If the Golden State Warriors were winning basketball games, uh, he would definitely be in this MVP conversation because he's the greatest shooter we've ever seen. And, that, and that's when, you know, when I, whenever I speak to any guards in the NBA, that's what I talk about when I talk about Steph Curry. You want to talk about him being the best guard of the NBA? Uh, obviously, you got to take defense into consideration, and nobody is going to accuse Steph Curry of being a stout or an outstanding defender. We're not going to go that far. From the offensive standpoint, I will tell you this. There is not a guard in the NBA that I would rather have than Steph Curry. And that includes Damian Lillard. And I love me some Damian Lillard. But Steph Curry is the greatest shooter I've ever seen in my life. And you literally have to pick him up from half court. Uh, as a result, it stretches out defenses and it opens the floor uh, for Golden State's offense because of what Steph Curry brings to the table. And the fact that he's been able to do what he has been doing without the services of Klay Thompson really, really cements his greatness as far as I'm concerned. And when we look at it right now, what is the dude averaging? He's averaging 30.7 points per game on 48.9% shooting from the field, 42.2% from three-point range. Steph Curry... This is who we're talking about here. He's a career 43.4% shooter from three-point range. He's the greatest shooter God ever created. I don't care what anybody says. I've never seen anybody like him. Spot-up shooters, you're right, jump shooters, dudes that are on the move, dudes that are standing still. None of them can do it all like Steph Curry can do in terms of creating his own jump shot. I've never seen it in my life. And because of that, because of that is why I'd say he's the best guard because people can't do what he can do. No matter if they can score 30, they can average 30, 35 or whatever. They can't spread the floor and open the offense the way that he can outside of maybe Damian Lillard. He's the only one in the conversation, but I still wouldn't put him ahead of Steph Curry as a shooter. And because that's the reality of the situation, I would tell you that Steph Curry's the best guard. But he's certainly not a leading candidate for MVP because Golden State is not winning enough games. If he was the best guard, they'd be winning more games because Damian Lillard's team was winning games even when he was the only dude on the team. They were winning, Stephen A. Matt, and when Matt you say he was no never one... the only dude on the team. You see Portland's roster compared to Golden yeah. State's? Well, Golden State, I mean, okay, Wiseman, Wiseman. end up getting hurt, and he's young, but he's athletic, Draymond Green. It's not like they had nobody. In fact, they put the, the Oubre and guys, that they, they picked up. I was the one saying I didn't think they had enough shooting. You and I debated this. I didn't think to start the season they had enough shooting. But his team is not winning as much as Lillard's. Now, I'll say this. I'm, what, am I going to sit here and pretend Damian Lillard's way better than Steph Curry? Of course not. It's close. Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time, Stephen. I don't think anyone disputes that for the reasons you point out. It's not just that he, like, he can shoot in a variety of spot up. He can get his off the dribble, whatever you want him to do from a million miles away. He's the greatest shooter ever eh, until it matters most. He had a great series, uh, especially when it mattered most, in that final series against Toronto. Until then, I did not consider him a great shooter in the finals when it mattered most. We haven't seen Damian Lillard in that situation yet, but as we said, he's the most clutch player in the NBA. Undisputed, by the way. No one really disputes it. Health. No one really disputes it, and that's with eyeballs and stats, right? That's literally. So if it's close in a lot of respects, and one dude's that much more clutch, and one dude's team is winning more, though they fill similar roles, I find it hard to argue Steph over Damian Lillard at this moment. Now, what about James Harden this year? I, I'm not going to say he's ahead, he's ahead in the MVP race because he missed so much time. But when he was on the court, I thought he was a more effective guard than Steph Curry. I'm not sliding Steph. Steph is a miraculous player. But Harden was controlling the game from the point guard position, unlike almost anyone has ever controlled the game this year. I mean, he's had MVP seasons and caliber seasons in the past, Stephen A., but I've never seen him play like he was playing this year. By the way, no KD, sometimes no Kyrie, still beating all kinds of teams. I think that you have to put this season Harden ahead of Steph. 
I would put this season close, but Damian Lillard ahead of Steph. And that's to say nothing of point forwards. You know, they're not little like Steph, but they basically fulfill the same responsibilities in the offense. Like, who's the greatest point guard of all time, really? LeBron James, if you consider him a point guard, which he kind of is nowadays. What's Luka Doncic nowadays? Uh, sort of a point guard. You want to call him a point forward? Okay. But it's not a point forward like Anthony Mason or Scotty Pippen were once point forwards. It's a different kind of animal. So I put those guys ahead of Steph, too, let alone Lillard and Harden this season. Well, first of all, the question wasn't who's the best, who's having the best season. Because if I'm looking at the best season, I'm not going to just look at numbers. I'm going to look at effectiveness. I'm going to look at what you're working with, what you're working against, et cetera, et cetera. Um, James Harden had at least Kyrie on the court or KD. Certainly not both of them, but he had one of them. That's number Sometimes. one. When you look at uh, 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 Damian Lillard, uh, Robert Covington is no scrub. Enos Cantor is no scrub. Gary Trent Jr. was no scrub before he was traded. Um, obviously, uh, Carmelo Anthony is there. So when you look at some of the pieces that he had in place compared to what Steph Curry had in place, I'd say they're a little bit better than what S that Steph Curry was working with on the offensive side of the ball in Golden State this year. But I'm not talking about uh, who's having the best season because, again, I think that when you look at a uh, Damian Lillard, uh, you look at the James Harden, those guys, they were MVP candidates. You're not going to call Steph Curry that when they've been up and down in Golden State all season long. Um, and, and Clay Thompson is chewing them out because they lose in a game to Toronto by 60. I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. But when you look in overall, the general question about the best guard in the NBA, I'm the one that brought up the discussion is that, listen, Irvin Magic Johnson, by far is, is, is considered the greatest uh, point guard to have ever played the game. People like Michael Jordan and others have Magic Johnson, number one, Isaiah Thomas, number two. And I'm the one that brought up, when are we going to put Steph Curry into the conversation? Because of the different dynamic he brings to the equation as a point guard, not just with his shooting ability with the dribble or off the dribble, standing still on a move or whatever. It's his movement without the basketball. It's the fact that he creates havoc because Hold everybody up. and their mother knows you can't leave Hold him up. open for a second or it's a three-point shot. So I look at it from that perspective, and that's when I'm answering the question overall in general. Hold up. You and I are going to have to debate this coming up. I know you said it was the day I wasn't here. I just gotten the COVID vaccine, the, the Pfizer vaccine. I lost my voice as a side effect the next day, so I wasn't here. I think that was uh, Tuesday, right? Stephen A., when Magic Johnson, who was a 19-year-old rookie, he'd turned 20 by the finals, mm -hmm. was in the finals against Daryl Dawkins in the Sixers. Mm -hmm. He jumped at center because Kareem wasn't there as a 20-year-old who entered the mm -hmm. season 19 as a rookie. Mm -hmm. And gave him, what was it, 42, 15, and 8, 42, something 15. like that? 42, 15. 42, 15 as a rookie and won the championship. And mm -hmm. that was the deciding game, right? Like, mm -hmm. okay, Steph Curry was the captain of the greatest half-court offense of all time. And mm -hmm. in Game 7 at home, for the greatest season ever on the line, 73 wins, his mm -hmm. offense couldn't score a single point in the last 4 minutes and 22 seconds. That is blasphemy to compare Steph Curry favorably to Magic Johnson as the greatest point guard of all time. Yes, I am, I am comparing it because I think that they bring two different things to the game. It's all a matter of what your preference is in terms of what you would prefer and what you think ultimately facilitates an offense. And I know what Magic Johnson did, and I know how phenomenal Magic Johnson is. He's a five-time champion and arguably the greatest leader we've ever seen. But when you look at what Steph Curry can do with shooting the basketball and the havoc that Great that shooter. causes, I can't right. ignore that. Strong debate. We got to have it another day, fellas, because uh, we got much more to come here on First Take Already Plan. The projected number one pick, Trevor Lawrence, with some interesting comments. His father chiming in as well. Should the Jaguars be concerned? We got all that for you coming up. Plus, will the Patriots straight up to get a quarterback? You'll hear from Bill Bellatrix on his quarterback situation, and you know Max and Stephen A. want to react. First Take just getting started.